Now though, time for another TGI Texas and Greg, this time we're talking about how faith and church play a role in helping people who really can't help take care of themselves. Yeah, as always, but really, really enjoyed this one. This is kind of how I want to be when, when I get uh, <laughs> a little bit older. While we take care of our parents and we hope the kids will be there for us, that's not always the case. In today's TGI Texas, I show you how one North Texas church is making sure to step in. Therapy you have to do. No, I just like to stay healthy. I have to break this to you, Bonnie. You're in a hospital. The exercises aren't working. Aging. It's not something most of us like to think about. You know, I guess my first experience was that was going through it with my mom as she went through that with her fam uh, her parents, uh, my grandparents, and having to transition them uh, from where they were living as they got older, having to take the car keys away from uh, my grandfather, and that was um, not easy. That's the first time I ever heard my grandfather curse uh, when we were going through that process. But what if you don't have family to help you out? Meet Barbara. And how did you learn to play the accordion? Well, uh, yeah, I had a teacher. I paid one dollar an hour for my lessons. She still loves her music and dancing. Oh, well, you want to dance? Yeah, let's dance. Oh, that's the Christmas picture. Mm -hmm. We sipped it through photographs and 94 years of memories. And now this one, where were you on this one? You were all this dressed up. A, this is in our backyard. Barbara outlived two husbands and never had any children, but that's where her church really becomes family. So first I want, I want to ask you about Team Barbara. Tell me, tell me about Team Barbara. Team Barbara is an informal group of lay people here at our church at First Methodist in Rockwall who all dearly love this 94-year-old woman. There are many churches, I think, that do a good job of visiting their older adults, uh, particularly those in senior care, whatever, maybe, maybe once a month. But this is different. This is really walking alongside them on a daily basis. Well, she and I formed a bond and we'd go to lunch together and we'd share uh, stories together. And she's just a delightful person and you can't help but love her. You know, I text everybody and say, you know, I'm here with Barbara and this is what's happening, or if there's a special need. You know, and, and like we said before, recognizing that they still have a lot to oh. offer, right? And young people really need to sit down and, and, and probably listen. I think it's important to remember that we really do need each other. Yes. That as much as um, an older person might need somebody younger to help care for them, we also need the wisdom of people who have gone before us. But the church actually is this beautiful place that fosters that kind of connectedness. Listening to her stories, you know that in her prime, she was a ring-tail toot. <laughs> I mean, that woman can crack you up in a heartbeat. Stories, thanks to Team Barbara, will continue to live on. You never saw somebody get up there and shake his rear end that what these young people were doing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want somebody to call me a ring-tail toot. Uh, yeah, as, my when, grandmother when was older, a ring-tail yeah, toot. I can sure, appreciate sure. that. And up until a few months ago, she was still driving. So the doctors had recommended that they take away the keys, and they were able to, to do that. Unlike your Barbara. grandfather, who cursed for the first time, she seems Ooh. to have adapted well to that oh, change. Oh, she's, she's doing great. Yeah, it has yeah. that whole community around her. And this is that time, too, to really make sure you are paying attention to perhaps those people. We are talking about the summer heat and things like mm -hmm. that, checking on those people in your neighborhood, even. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and one final note, Missy Buchanan, and who you interviewed there mm -hmm. um, is a real advocate for the elderly mm -hmm. and a real mm -hmm. educator on aging and helping families. So Indeed. she's a faithful viewer of our show. She's on Twitter. You can tweet her. She'll answer any of your questions and guide you along. Ring tail toot. A ring, a ring tail, tail toot. Okay. toot. Yeah. We can only hope to live up to that. <laughs> uh,